This is where I store my makeup. I use these four drawers right here. That has all of my makeup in it, and then down there has more things that I can show you just for storage wise. But I keep my palettes and eyeliners up here. So right here I have my Urban Decay Naked Palette. I have my Anastasia Modern Renaissance, Too Faced Sweet Peach, Lorac Pro, and Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And then I have a few more, but these are just where I keep most of them. And then I have my lip liners. So this is the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in Red Diva. It's my favorite, one of my favorite red ones. Essence ones in Satin Mauve and Honey Berry. This is awesome, this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Gone Burgundy. Love that stuff. This is just a lip brush, so you just kind of go like this. I know it's dirty, don't judge. I never use it, but it's nice to have. This is a Sonia Kashuk Velvet Matte Lip Crayon in Rosy Nude. Why would that be called Rosy Nude? That's a red color. I mean, there's rosy in it, but... This is an e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in the shade Natural. I wish I should... I wish I would wear this color more. I really should... I forget that I have it. I should really pull it out because it is so pretty. And then the NYX um, lip liner in nude pink, which is this really pretty pink color. So those are all the lip, those are all the lip liners I own. I mean, I feel like I only need a berry one and then a red one and a nude one. So pretty proud of myself for not having too many of those. So I recently just did a whole collection to clutter. I can link that playlist in the eye so you can check it out because I decluttered a lot of my stuff. I did not do as well as the other playlist. So I have two different declutter series up on my channel. Um, I did not do as well on this last one as the one before because the one before I got rid of so much. This last one I didn't get rid of it as much. But I still got rid of a lot and I've reorganized this whole thing and I'm very happy with what it looks like. In here I have all of my foundation. So I have primers, foundations, concealers. Back here I have lashes because I don't know where else to put them and setting spray stuff. I'm not gonna go through each individual foundation that I like, if I love it or not, I can, I'm gonna tell you what I have, and if I actually absolutely love something, then I'll tell you about it, but otherwise I'm just gonna tell you what I have. So, Elf Laws Finish Foundation, Acne Fighting. I'm still testing this one out. I did like how it looked on my skin, but it did feel a little heavy, so I don't know. Um, the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream, the Garnier BB Cream, Rimmel Clean Finish, Maybelline Super Stay, or Better Skin Foundation. Number 7 Stay Perfect Foundation. This is one I'm testing out. So far, it's not bad. The Sonia Kashuk Soft, Soft Focus Satin Matte. I like this one. The Rimmel Lasting Finish, my favorite. L'Oreal True Match. This is not the best shade, so don't love it as much. Hard Candy mix and Drops. I like these to lighten up this foundation, because this foundation is way too dark. This is like a cream contour shade for me. This is the Fiona Styles one, but I've noticed that mixing in like a few of these drops really lightens it up, and I don't think it changes the formula a whole lot. Primers over here. My NYX Pore Filler, my Maybelline Master Prime, my Becca Backlight Priming Filter. That's my all-time favorite. The Mario Badescu Skin Facial Spray. The um, Aloe Herbs and Rose Water one. I have that. This is the uh, Elf makeup mist and said this is actually just water in here. Um, but I did have, I went through that a long time ago. And then over here is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Mix and Drops in Radiant. I really don't like this stuff. I really should get rid of that. The It Cosmetic CC Cream. This isn't bad. I've had this for a while. I really honestly should probably get rid of it. But I wanted to pull it out against this at some time. It has good SPF. This is a Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. This is a really good concealer for blemishes. Maybelline Age Rewind, Maybelline Master Conceal, Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin, and Maybelline Fit Me. Holy cow, Hope likes Maybelline concealers. <laughs> and then back here I have Ardell Lashes. These are all pretty old and I actually should get some new ones. But these are the I got rid of a few of them that I've had for a while and these are the ones that I haven't had as long. So I have some ones back there for like that are gold for school activities. And then Natural One Soft Touch. Wispies and then individual lashes. So that's the first drawer. You can just buy these kind of like organizers at different places like Target and Walmart and even in the kitchen section. The Essence Club, Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Lighter Skin one. So this is a natural. This is a very nice bronzer. I've only used it a few times, but I don't mind it. Um, it's very light. It does smell like coconuts, if you were wondering, and I really don't mind it. This is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette Contour. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I have the light bronzer. I want to get the regular bronzer too. I've gone through, so this is the light compared to the Essence one, but I have gone through so much of this, like it's really dipped down under. I love that stuff. 
This is the Smashbox um, Spotlight Palette with the Casey with Casey Holmes collab. I like that. Makeup Revolution um, Contour Palette. I don't use this that often. I should really try it some more. Elf Eye Definition Powder. Elf Illuminating Palette. And then also the Elf Contouring Palette. I like them both. This Wet n Wild Illuminating Stick. I haven't really highlighted stick. I haven't used it a whole lot. It's not bad, but it's not like the best thing in the world. I don't know. Elf. What is this? This is like a shimmering facial whip or something like that in Lilac Petal. I should use that more often because I don't use it very well, very much, and that would be a good blush or blush topper. Benefit High Beam. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soy. It's a sample. I really need to use this up because I've had this for a while. <gasps> this, I am going to have to just get rid of that because I'm not going to press it. That's just a sample, and I really... Haven't used it a whole lot. I do like the kind of tone of it, so I might use it a little bit before I get rid of it, even though it's broken, but I will have to get rid of this. Um, I do like that bronzer, though. This is the Benefit Benefit Hula bronzer. I like that bronzer. Wet n Wild. This is that bronzer, but it's in Reserve Your Cabana, so it's like a highlighter. Not bad. Physician's Formula Powder Palette Mineral Girls Pearls. Milani Powder Blush. Benefit Blush in Dallas. Makeup Revolution. Shimmer Brick Radiant. I love that stuff. And Silky Touch Blush. The Pixie and Aspen Over Highlighter, which is amazing. Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter. Um, this is then Everglow Lights and then Holographic. Um, Tarte Blush in Flush. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. CoverGirl Cheekers Blush. A Wet n Wild Blush and Pearl and Pink in the old packaging. And a NYX Illuminator in... Ritualistic. A Wet n Wild Coverall Press Powder, CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder, the Elf Finishing Powder, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder, and the Number 7 Loose Powder in Translucent. That's a lot of powder. The third drawer is all eye products, so I honestly could probably spread this out even more, but it is eyeshadow palettes, eyeliners, Eye primers, brow products, mascaras, single eyeshadows, everything. So, let's keep going. So this is the number 7 Nude Stay Perfect Eyeshadow Palette. I just got this not very long ago. Because, okay, this is bad of me, but it was on clearance, so I was like, oh my gosh, I need to have it. It's actually a really good palette, and I, I, I'm not going to, I don't own a lot of drugstore palettes, so I am kind of glad I grabbed it, because it is very nice. The Naked 2 palette. I don't use this one as often, but still a good palette. The Ulta and Jenny Fox collab. The Miss Jen Fabulous palette. Eh. Not my favorite. It's not like... It's not bad, but it's not anything to rape about. The Makeup Revolution Ultra Eyeshadows in Flawless Matte. This isn't a bad palette. I prefer like my high-end shadows better, but if you're looking for a matte eyeshadow palette, I think you would like this. Makeup Revolution Fortune, Fortune Favors the Brave palette. It's not a bad palette either. Definitely not my favorite, but not bad. This is the BH Cosmetics and Carly Bible palette. I don't know why I keep it in the sleeve. These are beautiful shades. They swatch incredible. Um, I feel like the eyeshadows... They kind of don't, every time I wear them, I don't love them, but the highlighters are awesome. It's not a bad, it's just kind of my choice, I feel like, with colors. Back there, I also have a Maybelline, like, quad. That was, like, the first eyeshadow I ever owned. The uh, Physicians Formula Natural Nude Eyeshadow Brick. Oh, this is for a dance competition. Look at this blue shade. Please tell me that I'm not crazy that I'm keeping that. I am totally going to... Even though that's a crazy shade, I'm going to keep that because I will use it for something fun one day. And then back here I have the CoverGirl True Naked Roses palette. So this is where I keep all of like my primers, single shadows, liners, everything. So this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I have the L'Oreal Infallible Single Eyeshadows. This other L'Oreal Single Eyeshadow. I'm going to do a look with that. The Cream Eyeshadow by Revlon. Essence Gel Liner. Not a bad liner. 
This is a the Essence Eye Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. I actually like this, and my eyelids get pretty oily, so that's pretty good. And I just got this not very long ago because I needed a drugstore eyeshadow primer. Because this is the, I also have a Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I just always use high-end eyeshadow primers. L'Oreal Infallible Paints Eyeshadow um, Duo. This is the Essence 2-in-1 Shadow and Liner. I like cream shadows because they're so easy. Elf Smudge Pot. Okay, Maybelline Single and Essence Single. Another Maybelline Single. Um, an S, uh, Essence, this is an Elf Cream Liner. NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow. Homemade, another eyeshadow primer. I don't know, I have that many eyeshadow primers by Lorac. An Essence Make Me Brow. This is a Maybelline Lasting Drama Purple Liner. And then this is two different types of lash adhesives. Over here are lot more liners and, well, my liquid liners and brow products. So this is the um, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eyeliner. I just got this not very long ago and I love it. Um, Anastasia Brow Wiz, Essence Gel Eyeliner, Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen, an e.l.f. Brow Pencil, a liquid um, liner from e.l.f., and then a Marc Jacobs sample liner. All of these mascaras, 10 mascaras. I swear I just got rid of them all. Um, I, I feel like I just got rid of a bunch. Okay, this is Maybelline Last Sensational. That one's one of my favorites. I like this one, the Rimmel Lift and the Cucumber. This is a waterproof by iHeart Essence Extreme. Not my favorite. Um, Maybelline Colossal Big Shot, not my favorite. This is that little elf one for your lower lashes. It's okay. Benefit They're Real, that one's okay, not my favorite. L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black, that one's pretty good. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise, that one's really good. The Catrice Glamidol, that one's really good. And then the Maybelline The Falsies, that one's okay. Oh. Right in this first part here, I keep things that I, like lip packs that I like to use a lot. Or I'm trying out. So these are all the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits. I just like these. And then also a MAC Lipstick and Velvet Teddy because that's my favorite shade. And also this L'Oreal Infallible Paints. I like that. My e.l.f. Lip Scrubs and Vaseline. And then a sharpener and some Benefit brushes. <laughs> just a mixture of products. I, I can go through them all. So I have a bunch of these Revlon HD. I swear I have more. Revlon HD Matte Lip Colors. These are nice. Um, uh, CoverGirl Old Sugar. I have more of these. I have two of those. Um, a Melania Moray Matte Lip Color. Essence XXL Shine Lip Gloss. A Rimmel Stay Glossy. NYX Lingerie Liquid Lip. Maybelline The Elixir. <clears throat> oh, this is the Elf Pump and Primer. Another MAC Lipstick and Cream Cup. I'll stick that there. Um, Revlon lipsticks. I've done a whole video on these. So these are all my Revlon lipsticks. I really love these lip or these lipsticks. A CoverGirl lipstick, an Elf moisturizing lipstick, a Maybelline lipstick, some Essence ones. I really like those. This is a NYC. Oh my gosh, you guys! I said I was gonna get rid of that. <laughs> This is, those are, that's an NYC lip gloss, by the way. I love that stuff. Milani lipsticks. Love the packaging. A Too Faced Melted lipstick. NYX matte lipstick and a red one. A Wet n Wild. This is like a really cool, like, blue shifted hog. Not really holographic, but it's got a blue shift to it. It's really cool. I love wearing that one just for fun. Marc Jacobs mini sample lipstick. And then a Burt's Bees blush ba a lipstick and blush basin. It's a nice, pretty blush shade. In this drawer, there's a bunch of stuff. So this is where I keep my e.l.f. Um, makeup remover wipes or um, baby wipes for wiping swatches. I just have a bunch of, like, there's a makeup remover. This is an empty primer spray container, another spray container. Here I keep bobby pins. So if, like, I need to pin my hair back in a video because my hair always looks crazy. Extra beauty blenders, tape, blotting wipes. This is, if you travel, the Story Beauty Blender in there. I would save these. Um, an e.l.f. acne fighting gel, the, these little um, peach fuzz shavers, tweezers, scissors for opening stuff, a bunch of things are in the back. It's just basically, back there I have a, just a bunch of things like extra spoolies, lip applicator sponges, travel makeup brushes, these are palettes to mix makeup on, extra container for 
storing things. This is just something to put eyeshadow in. Like, just a bunch of random stuff back there. And this is the start of the bigger drawers. So this is where I keep all my nail polish. We're not going to go through this. Um, I have quite a bit of nail polish. I mean, I don't have a lot of nail polish compared to some people. But I also don't... I do have a lot, and I don't wear nail polish that often. So I probably could downsize that. But I also have this, like, cool brush set to put on to use nail art and this stuff. This is one of my favorite drawers. This is my extra drawers, so products to try. Some of these I have tried, like this hand cream's open. I have some face products back here that are open, um, like a whipped body oil. But then I also have things that I haven't opened, like a face and body mask. I've opened these. Um, I just have a bunch of things. I have shampoo, shamp what did I just say? Shampoo and conditioner samples. Another one of those, um, a hair styling oil or thing, another conditioner. Bunch of more shampoo and conditioner samples over here. I have the Maybelline 24K Nudes palette, have not opened. Some skincare stuff. So this is kind of the drawer where I'm collecting products so then I can do giveaways. And yeah. here is just kind of a mess. This is where I keep all of my makeup bags and stuff. <laughs> don't really need to go through that and then the way bottom drawer is just storing like of my lenses batteries SD cards everything else this is kind of the desk area I just keep a bunch of my makeup brushes and everything over there nothing fancy um, I've done my favorite drugstore brushes most of my collection is drugstore brushes mm -hmm.